DC fans' lives are not easy because they have experienced years of a disappointment thanks to movie cancellations. But there's some hope with Henry Cavill as Superman, James Gunn leading the DCU's charge, and Black Adam making a Batman vs. Superman reference. Could Ben Affleck make a comeback as the caped crusader? Here's everything we know. First off, Zack Snyder's warm welcome to Henry Cavill. Zack Snyder congratulated Henry Cavill, calling him the greatest Superman ever, following the warm reception to Superman in the Black Adam mid credit scene. We apologize to everyone who tried to avoid reading spoilers for Black Adam. But even Henry Cavill has stated that he's officially back as Superman, and you've had plenty of time to watch the movie. Couldn't get the time because you were working? Well, unfortunately, the secret's out. Because literally, everybody knows now. Black Adam. Considering that Dwayne Johnson himself let the Kryptonian cat out of the bag on the red carpet, none of us stood a chance against Black Adam spoilers. In any case, Henry Cavill has received a warm welcome to the DC Universe, and now Zack Snyder has congratulated the actor in a special video greeting that can be seen in the most recent episode of Josh Horowitz's Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. Following up, Cavill's official announcement. Cavill openly announced his return as Superman in all future DC productions on Instagram. Although a showdown with Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam is expected, there will be much more with something dark in the mix, if you know what I mean. Although it's hard to tell exactly where Cavill will appear next, a new solo Superman movie featuring the actor in a leading role seems all but certain. A Man of Steel sequel is finally in the works, according to reports that surfaced after the release of Black Adam. One thing's for sure, his return is inevitable, sooner or later, especially because Cavill's already made the big announcement. But what might a follow-up to Snyder's polarizing portrayal of the character involve? A standalone Superman film that doesn't need to build up the next few years' worth of spin-offs and sequels? That would be awesome paired with Superman acting like the god on Earth that he is. While they're at it, it would be amazing if Amy Adams could return as Lois Lane. Next up, will Snyder return to the DCU? Although Cavill's new act as Superman in the DC Universe began with Black Adam, the main question that many are probably asking is whether or not Snyder will ever return as a director. Even though Snyder and the studio didn't see eye to eye, CEO David Zasloff took over from Warner Brothers, and most of the people that disagreed with Snyder are long gone. This means we can look forward to more movies like The Justice League Snyder Cut, which was better than the one directed by Josh Whedon, wasn't it? Since the Discovery merger is done and dusted, there are more possibilities for Snyder's story to be continued in future DCU films if DC Studios has no objection under James Gunn and Peter Safran's leadership. But it's important to remember that even if Snyder and DC Studios are open to working together again, the director has a lot of projects that will keep him busy for at least the next year or two, including Rebel Moon Parts 1 and 2 for Netflix. Snyder's Planet of the Dead, the Army of the Dead sequel, is also scheduled for Netflix, so a return to the DC Universe wouldn't happen for a few years. But if everyone involved is willing to make it happen, Snyder might return to the DC Universe and eventually work with his favorite Superman again as Cavill prepares to make a comeback. Up next, will Henry Cavill be in the Flash movie? Sadly, there's no chance he will show up in the Flash. Dwayne Johnson finally achieved his dream after years of uncertainty behind the scenes before Henry Cavill reprised his role as Superman in the post credits scene of Black Adam. There was a setup for another versus movie like Batman vs. Superman, this time starring Henry Cavill's Superman and Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. The Rock had been promoting Black Adam for months, and he was able to negotiate his way through Walter Hamada, the retiring head of DC Films before the merger. Yes, the same guy who didn't see eye to eye with Snyder. Naturally, everyone's attention is focused on Superman's position in the DC Extended Universe and whether he will appear in The Flash or other projects. It's important to remember that The Flash has already finished filming, and David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick has already finished writing the sequel. But then again, it's still possible that Warner Brothers might decide to include Superman through reshoots, but the truth is, Henry Cavill's Superman has no logical home in that particular franchise, but he might show up in a post credit scene. Let's look at Henry Cavill's future in the DCU. Although Cavill's return to the DC Extended Universe is amazing. You've grown stronger here than I ever could have imagined. The only way to know how strong is to keep testing your limits. 
DC Films doesn't seem inclined to change the direction of their shared universe, so Cavill's future in DC will be all about Superman. This is smart because it'll prevent issues from arising if the DCEU becomes overly focused on a particular figure or idea. DC Films appears to be focusing on Man of Steel 2 rather than incorporating Superman into other projects currently in development, which will probably deliver on the promise of a Superman vs. Black Adam fight later. As far as we know, Warner Brothers is searching for writers and a director for Man of Steel 2, which is still in the early stages of development. In short, all we have now are announcements and hiring for future projects involving Henry Cavill's Superman. Now, let's learn more about who could star in The Flash. Even without Superman, there will still be cameos and guest stars on The Flash. Michael Keaton's Batman will return in this multiverse adventure, and some people think he will serve as The Flash's mentor as he tries to make sense of the new universe Barry Allen accidentally created. Since Ben Affleck will also return as Batman, there will be at least two different versions of Batman as Bruce Wayne in the DCEU. Other cameo appearances in The Flash have also been rumored, especially Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman as an evil version because Barry Allen will be in an alternate universe. Also, considering that this movie will be based on Flashpoint gives us more reason to believe that Diana will be shown as a villain. There have been also rumors that Ray Fisher's Cyborg has been confirmed as being in several scripts, but he was eventually cut out because Fisher didn't want to work on anything involving Walter Hamada. Hamada may easily be inserted back into the movie for a minor role, even though he no longer has any association with DC Films. So you see, The Flash doesn't need Henry Cavill's Superman to be included when there are so many supporting characters already. Moving on, Black Adam references Batman vs. Superman. Batman enters Black Adam's hideout and tells him, it's been quite a while since anyone's made the world this nervous, after Amanda Waller orders Black Adam to stop causing issues for the rest of the world. This is a reference to the last Versus movie, where the world wasn't sure what to do about Superman and his abilities, which had everybody questioning Superman's place in society and ultimately caused Lex Luthor to convince Batman to fight Superman. Although Superman was revived in Zack Snyder's Justice League 2021 and eventually accepted his duty as Earth's defender, the idea that he was a controversial figure was not entirely accepted then, and Black Adam's character seems to be following the same arc. But this time, instead of Batman using Kryptonite against Superman, Superman might be the one using Eternium, Black Adam's only weakness that can pierce through his skin, if you don't count the fact that he could also be compelled to yell Shazam and turn back into a mortal being. Finally, where will the story go from Black Adam? Superman's plan to terrify the world was more than just a theme for Batman vs. Superman. As a potential countermeasure to a bad superhuman, it was first introduced in Man of Steel and continued in the original Suicide Squad assembling Task Force 10 with Amanda Waller. In Black Adam, the Valor forced the Justice Society of America to kidnap Black Adam in the first place, and this is the same storyline arc. It's probably also the same reason Superman confronts him in the scene, which excites everybody. So far, Black Adam Adam, Superman, and the DCEU's future are pretty confusing, so it's unclear how much of the Zack Snyder era will be reintroduced. Still, Henry Cavill's return could signal Warner Brothers' strong endorsement of a piece of the Snyderverse canon and their new DCEU vision. Where do you think the story could go after Black Adam's confrontation with Superman? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this.